the Chevrolet Malibu RS. And the Malibu's been around since 1964 and every generation has been a huge success until now. Even though the Malibu is one of Chevrolet's best selling cars. And what I mean by that is that the world has changed. SUVs and CUVs have taken over the world. With that being said, the Chevrolet Cruze is gone, the Impala will be gone next year, and the Malibu will be extinct in 2023. But this is an amazing car, folks. If you're looking for a car at around $25,000, the Malibu should definitely be on your list. There are five different trim levels, the L, LS, RS, LT, and Premier. The base price for the RS is $24,500, but this is fully loaded just the way I like it. It comes in at $25,800. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of the car that start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Connell Chevrolet. Located in beautiful Costa Mesa, California, Connell Chevrolet is one of the largest and oldest Chevrolet dealerships in Southern California. They have the latest selection of sedans, SUVs, trucks, and Corvettes. Come on by, give them a call, make an appointment. Give them an opportunity to win your business. Their link and information is in the description below. This Chevrolet Malibu RS comes with a 1.5 liter inline four cylinder turbo engine. It has 160 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. Now all that power goes through a CVT transmission to the front wheels. Zero to 60 comes in in about eight seconds. Now may not seem like fast, right? But the MPGs on this is 36 on the highway and 32 in this city. Wow. The RS trim level is a visual package only. There's no engine or interior upgrade. The RS adds a rear spoiler, dual exhaust tips, black Chevy logos, painted side mirrors, black grille, and nice 19 inch wheels. The LT and Premier trim levels add more options, but also cost $2,500 to $9,000 more. So the RS gives you a balance of sportiness and amenities at a great price. The Chevrolet Malibu RS has had the same design since 2016 but it's worked for Chevy so they haven't changed it. The front has halogen headlights, black grills with swooping chrome accents. I've always loved the front design of the Chevy Malibu. It's slim and sleek and doesn't look outrageous like the Camry and Civic or ugly like the brand new BMW 4 Series. The rear comes with a great looking spoiler, black Chevy emblem and a red RS badge. The rear end is gorgeous just like the front, it's slim and sleek. The only negative thing back here are the halogen tail, reverse and license plate lights. Other than that, it looks really good. To open the trunk, just push the button underneath the Chevy emblem. The Malibu has 15.7 cubic feet of space. It's right up there with the Ultima, Passat and Fusion. You get lots of trunk space with hooks for your cargo net. Underneath the floor, you'll find storage with a donut spare tire a cargo net, OEM Chevrolet rubber and carpeted floor mats. To get more cargo space, just pull the tabs in the trunk, then pull down the seats, and what you see here is 28 cubic feet of space, which is a little more than its competitors. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. The opening is low and wide, so you won't have a problem getting things in or out. You're gonna have to be careful because the bumper isn't protected. So there is aftermarket wrap you can wrap it with so it'll help protect it when you load things in. There's no handle on the inside so it's kind of tough to shut it. You have to grab onto the outside and close the lid. See ya. Take out the top. About one of me fit in here snuggly. The seats are made of soft, durable, and comfortable material. There isn't much amenities back here, but one thing I was impressed with is the amount of space. 
some of the conveniences in the back seat. You get some storage, some storage behind the seats, a 12 volt outlet, no USB, so more storage behind the seat on the door. But you don't get an armrest. Where's the armrest? It disappeared. You only get an armrest with the LT and Premier trim level. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna sit behind myself. From what I remember, the Chevrolet Cruze that I reviewed had plenty of space. And the Malibu, I'm assuming it gives me a little more. And it does. I have about three and a half inches of leg room and about one and a half inches of head space. And even though it has a coupe-like design, it doesn't compromise any head space. Pretty good, Chevrolet. I just want to say thank you to Connell Chevrolet for lending me their 2021 Chevrolet Malibu for the day. If you're in the market for an SUV, CUV, a truck, Corvette, or Camaro, just come on down here, check out their website, give them a call, make an appointment with them. Give them an opportunity to win your business. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. They love seeing those and it helps me get cars like the Chevrolet Malibu RS to review for you. The Malibu isn't the fanciest or the quietest, but it does have one of the best ergonomics. All the buttons and knobs are at your fingertips and easy to read and use. There isn't any guessing involved. It has a mixture of hard plastics and synthetic materials similar to the sedans in this class. The instrument panel has all the vital information you'll need when you're cruising down Route 66. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control buttons. And then there's your turn signal stock. Below that is your headlight and dimmer switch knobs. And those are your window controls. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have buttons to control your, I mean, three inch digital information center. Behind that is your windshield wiper stock. And behind that is your start your engine button. You get a high definition eight inch touchscreen display with a physical volume knob. There's your engine auto stop start button. You can actually turn it off or on in the Malibu. Below that are your air controls. There's a USB-C, USB, auxiliary jack, and a 12 volt outlet. There's a small storage area. You get two cup holders. You get another small shallow storage area. You lift up the armrest and you get a pretty big center compartment. The glove compartment is pretty big as well. The digital display has more information than you most likely need on your commutes. It has your basic information like tripometer, information on your vehicle, and fuel economy. The infotainment system is one of the best in the industry, giving you access to all the features of the car such as radio, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, which come at no charge. There's no $80 annual subscription fee like BMW, nickel and dimers. If you want a thorough lesson on the infotainment system, just watch my Chevrolet Blazer or Trail Blazer review. There's one more thing I forgot to mention. To unlock the door in the Chevy Malibu RS, you can use the remote or just push the button right here and it unlocks. To lock it, shut the door, you can push the remote or just push that. How convenient is that? Nice job, Chevy. Now for the fun part, let's take the 2021 Chevrolet Malibu from Connell Chevrolet for a spin. The acceleration is good, not mind blowing, but the Malibu isn't meant to get that 0 to 60 time. It's meant to capture really good MPGs, and this Malibu does a really good job at it. Let me remind you 29 in the city and 36 on the highway. At $25,000 or a lot less with incentives and great negotiating, the RS becomes a great value. I highly suggest you take one for a test drive. I'm gonna be so upset when the Malibu's gone because it's such an iconic car and it's Chevrolet's last sedan. 
Now the Impala is pretty much gone because you can't find one on the dealer lot. And I love that car because it came pretty much fully loaded. It had a naturally aspirated V6 engine and the price was fairly inexpensive and affordable. Now if you get the Malibu, you gotta check out the RS because it's Chevrolet's best selling model. And the Premier is a little more expensive. It doesn't look as good. You'll get more amenities, but it just doesn't look as good. And the RS looks pretty sporty. The powertrain is a little bigger, but it has less power, go figure. But check out the RS. It's a really nice looking car. Steering wheel is telescopic. It has a manual telescopic steering wheel and it comes out pretty far because I have T-Rex arms. So it comes out far enough for me. As far as up and down, of course it does. This seat is automatic. It also has lumbar support. This seat on the passenger side is manual. So you're gonna have to adjust it manually from the front to go up and back and on the sides to go up and down in the back seat. But who cares, right? Cause you're not gonna drive from the passenger seat. <laughs> So there you go, the 2021 Chevrolet Malibu RS. Get them quick, folks, because they're not gonna be on the market for much longer. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy, see ya!